Welcome back to the trend, everybody. Zach with Money Pit RC. Today's video, we already have a modified Defender. So we're going to install a ton of these Hobby Park brass upgrades on the Defender. So we're going to get going. We're going to do the install. We're going to run it. Then we're going to let you know how they are. So like I said, this one already has some upgrades. It's got some brass. You know, here and there, it's got the Fury Tech Stinger kit. Um, but the only problem is when I ordered this brass, it was all cheap. So I had to, like, drill out the knuckles to make the bolts fit. And the front steering link doesn't fit right. And so we're going to replace all the crap with some good quality parts. We have the C-hubs. We have some rear axle weights, shocks, front knuckles, diff covers, we got the steering link and we have a metal servo horn. All right, we have these front and rear axles laying around. So we're gonna actually install the parts onto these axles first, get all the brass and all that installed. And then we're just gonna throw them onto the actual Defender. I just want to point out one thing as I'm doing this install that every single part comes with sealed bearings, which is amazing. Fully sealed ball bearings. So that's just really nice. Just something else to get rid of the bushings, put some bearings in there. So, all right, we got all of the parts installed. Here's the front. We got the diff covers. We got the inner hubs, outer hubs steering link and the servo horn and on the rear we got the diff covers and we got the i guess they call them just brass ends so we're going to get these fitted onto the defender and then we're going to take them out oh can't forget we are also going to install some shocks <laughs> This is the finished product. All that nice black brass. In the rear and the front did these shocks. I did take the springs out of the shocks. They were sitting a little bit too high. Um, but I do run basically no springs and all my stuff. Um, so that's that. Still running the Enduro high clearance links. Everything else is pretty much stock. That is all the old parts that I did take off. I think it sits really well. It sits good, looks good. So now we're just gonna take it on a couple of the crawler tracks, get a good feel for it, but then that's pretty much it. All right, we're gonna start easy and then we're gonna work our way up to the most difficult, which like I said, this is running the Fury Tech Stinger Kit. So it does have a nice slow crawl. All right, let's try it this way now. Well, that's, that was pretty easy. That was easy. And next up, we got the pipeline. All right, let's try it this way now. Very nice. All right, definitely the most challenging for this one is the wave. So we're gonna see if we can flex over these hills. Or if I'm just going to, all right, all right, not bad. 
going to come this way. Pretty impressive. All right, conquered all of the crawler tracks that I have. So we're just going to take a little bit on the indoor course. All right, we're just going to do a couple lines on the indoor course. So being such a big hard body, this thing does handle pretty well. Flip over. Sometimes all you need is a little wheel speed. All right, guys, that concludes part one of this build. We got basically the bones all good. So now we're going to try to order the front bumpers, rear bumper. Uh, we're going to try a little bit more cosmetic upgrades as well. Um, maybe a carbon fiber frame rail. So let me know what you want to see with the Defender build, but I already know I want to do bumpers and stuff. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. See you on the next one.